Hello, everybody. How's it going? Uh, welcome to Divine and Conqueror Sacred World Chronicles. This is a 5th edition game based on the Pathfinder Seas using Greyhawk Pantheon. A little bit how Dorian and Innerstrat wrapped into one beautiful campaign. Uh, how is everybody? How, how are we doing in the Twitch land? And those from the future listening to us on other platforms. Um, uh, those, there, was, there was a thing that I wanted to say, but I forgot. Uh, I, I guess just be kind to one another. This is what happens when you don't write your uh, your pre-intro stuff down. Why would you ever want to do anything professional and write down what you're supposed to say? You all have scripts. <laughs> I, y'all can I, read. I, I, yeah, I got I got mine. I uh, mail out the scripts read. every uh every, the first yeah. of the month, but uh sometimes I get a yeah. A, yeah for a, some reason Jeremiah always gets a script, but like. <laughs> the rest of us sure don't. Yeah. Well, um, have you been paying the tuition? <laughs> <laughs> Probably because Jeremiah no, gets his hand delivered. Yeah, I know. So he has to, he has to go to the director's house for his script revisions. I do handle yeah. Jeremiah pretty well, so yeah, mine gets yeah. hand delivered. Don't. So, um, <laughs> diddling aside, uh, <laughs> all our friends' information is down below. Um, uh, you can uh, look at all their amazing art and uh, books and merchandise. Uh, everything's down below. Go go follow them. Go do the stuff. Spread the love. Um, yeah, I guess let's get into uh, uh, character intros. Um, hey, guys. I'm Jesus. I'll be y'all's DM. Uh, Jeremiah, who are you playing? I am playing Erevan Carabao Galanadel, the high elf rogue artificer. Yeah, 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 yeah. That doesn't have 27 names for, for the snakes. Anyway. That, that is true. <laughs> Why did I choose to open that now? My glasses reflect the image. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's what happens when you open no notifications for me. Sorry, I'm studying. <laughs> hey, Vic. Don't worry, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> who are you playing? Oh, shit. Who, what, where? Uh, who are you playing? Please. Oh, me? Uh, hi, I... I'm West. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vic. I'm going to be playing West, the human barbarian warlock druid. And I am not sending inappropriate photos to be my friends. <laughs> what? No, never. <laughs> never. Never. Why would I ever do that? Uh, never, ever. Not my Christian Minecraft. Story. Not in my, not in my satanic. D and D game. My brother in Christ. Why would you send that? Um, I hey. mean, Jesus is right there. Come on. Um, <laughs> hey, Tabby, who are you playing? Hey, everybody. I am Tatha. I will be playing Cole, the Tiefling cleric. I didn't stutter that time. I'm proud of myself. Good for you. Good for you. You, did, you didn't think yeah. hard. What which Tiefling this time? <laughs> no, I didn't have to. Um, I'm terrified. Good. Uh, that's it. Good. Uh, hey, uh, Nick, who are you playing? Hello, I'm Nick. I am going to be playing uh, Kerbionu, the Fire Ganassi Rune Knight Fighter. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys. So, without further ado, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Well, this is a fifth edition game based on the Pathfinder Seas. He's in the Great House of Panther with the Tandora and the Shred Dragon. How do you want to do this? Or you can just stay here. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind starting a family one day either. I'm not afraid to die. You saved us again. So fast. I need to say bye to my friends first. I've been fighting to help others. I would like to rage, damn it! That's what it is. You have not failed me before, please. I cannot lose him.
appropriate. Uh, so yeah, we're we're completely appropriate. Everything we discuss pre uh, previews are uh, appropriate, and in, during <laughs> intermission too. Our, everything's super appropriate. So, so sure. <laughs> to recap, what had happened last time? Uh, you guys enter the city of this. Uh, you guys uh, completed technically a three-way uh, intricate uh, alarm system pattern uh, lock. You guys climbed the 15-foot wall and did trigger the silent alarm. Um, as these horn devils tried to attack you, uh, they grappled west. The fight ensued. Um, one of them was killed. Essentially, its essence was absorbed by the ruler of the plane. A second struck a deal and ran in fear when this crimson snake sealed the bond of their deal. Uh, you guys entered the palace. You, uh, um, I would say successfully did avoid the Hellboss nest. Um, you saw the angels that were trapped and tortured on the cocoon. Um, a good illusion distracted them before you guys ran in front of a bridge that had a hell engine. Um, that's a thing. And that's where we left off. Um, so that's that's where we're gonna... That's, that's where we're going in right now. So... <laughs> before I do... Some mood music, just... Well, let me, uh... Nice, make nice, sure nice. that the audience can't see all the goodies. Room, room. Let me see that GM layer get a little bit lower. There we go. Okay. Uh, don't look at that audience. <laughs> Let me move something. Okay. Um, so, as I control L to see what you guys can see. Perfect. Beautiful. All right. You do see this huge... Uh, first, describing the area. Oh, sorry. Um, as the roaring magma starts flowing underneath, and you see these horns and these bulbous um skull like figures throughout the ground you're noticing that um as you've been walking yes all of this was quite literally built on top of corpses of these colossal beings so their skulls are the size of these engines themselves how big were the creatures that died and laid their bodies for this palace to be born the walls are this solid black stone that looks to be absorbing the heat pretty well and be probably the coolest thing in this entire plane the gigantic hell spawn wasp as this one down here is vigorously trying to stab at this illusion and not quite understanding why it's not dying um, every single one of these skulls technically is lit and you see that there's a fire roaring inside but nothing has actually ignited yet you see this gigantic engine that has this um, devilish face with the uh, maul exposed and this flame inside. You see these small little talons that each one has like uh, these bolts of lightning kind of firing off. You see pools of acid start dripping from different uh, hoses and sockets behind it. And it's just making this horrific screaming noise. Um, imagine a engine... Imagine a Mustang, souped up, but muffled inside are screaming people. So, the engine is active. It definitely sees you guys. As the engine is just turning and the wheels are uh, all moving in syncly to do this beautiful turn towards you guys and facing uh, Karabao at the moment. You see that the flame inside goes white and then starts glowing red as these sparks start moving around. Kind about you see it? Uh, I believe Cole can see it. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, everybody see sees it. Yeah, everybody yeah, sees okay, it. Okay, cool. So, as this engine is starting to move forward and grinding on the floor, and kind of the second that you move, this engine is already moving about uh, four or five inches forward towards you. What are we all doing? Just, just so I have an idea of like, now, what is back 
in this direction over here, Jesus. What does Cole see when he looks over? Uh, point, point at it again. Okay, yes, yes. Let me try that too. Yes. Is that a door behind Cal? Yes, there... Uh, I should draw a little... Um, boop, to all the things that are doors. Um, so, okay. yes. That is a door that seems to have a large lock in front of it. A large iron lock. Okay. Um, um, the door is made out of the same um, uh, stone, that, that black stone that the entire palace is made out of. And uh, as you're kind of walking around, you do notice that you are walking what seems to be a very decorative, uh, but buried now, with all the ash and soot around, of bones and skulls that are organized almost to be a pathway. Um, uh, yes. Quick question, mechanics-wise. Um, how long has it been since we were here? When we were here and jumped to the lava, and then we moved around sneakily over here, all the way here. I would it, say five long? minutes. Okay. Because uh, I'm still concentrating on fly right now. Okay, yeah. I would say five minutes. Okay. And, uh, Jesus, where I'm blipping, uh, is there, like, a wall over here? Um, or? Uh, I would say that everything technically extends a couple of feet, but eventually it, it will hit a wall circuit. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, for for the purposes of our game, let's just assume that anything that is not on the uh, okay. map is is the gate of the wall. It's that fifteen foot uh, ledge, which is again fifteen feet, not that high. Someone's like so, they don't have anything to be afraid of. Okay, um, I'll let Karen, uh, Wes say say something because Cole Cole's gonna possibly okay. do a thing. Cal, can you get that door? I can try. Cause, uh... Can I investigate it first, see if it was trapped or magical or anything like that? What, what, what's your subtype of uh, rogue? Uh, our, uh, arcane trickster. Arcane trickster? Yeah, you can try. As soon as not you're... a thief. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I wanted. To... You don't have fast hands, so as soon as your hands mm -hmm. go to grab the uh, handle to do something. This thing's already moving over here. Uh, yes, Cole. So yeah, when Cole sees it move, mm -hmm. he's looking at it because I, I mean, I'm in. Uh, yeah, my mental, yeah. like, yeah, no, yeah, no. When he moved up, it's like, okay, what are we do? Takes one look at it. Hell no, and he's just pointing a finger at it, and he's gonna cast banishment. Okay. As soon as your finger flies over, and the energy launches as the bubble. <laughs> goes around it and the bubble shatters oh we need to leave <laughs> what's what's going on guys we need to move we need to get we need to uh so uh that was your action uh cole uh uh Carabelle still has not technically done its action i just wanted to emphasize that it is moving as you guys have been talking uh, uh so uh, yes yes you all have a action i'm gonna uh, pick the lock okay please roll me uh thief souls and yeah. what's what are we doing i am proficient with it with the double proficiency of a rogue Good. Okay. Yeah, expertise okay. Okay. that's the that's the word expertise um... <laughs> West is gonna. All right, yeah, he's gonna follow Cares lead to go stand, kind of like, to protect Carabao. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of like make a like a, a, a failing. Yeah. Okay. We're we're a fence. Uh, and West is going to see if this does anything. I will um, say that you both are on the bridge, right? It's just yeah. obviously the minis cannot be physically. Yeah. Okay, perfect. We are perfect. too large. Perfect, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so, sorry, My... to interrupt. What are we doing? Uh, so, West is going to cast uh, Entangled underneath the uh, the machine. Oh, oh. That's an interesting one. Yeah. Okay, that's a strength save? Strength, yes. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, it'll be a 20-foot square. Okay. Okay. 23? Yeah, no, that passes. Okay. Uh, does Entangle still stay? Does the... Yeah, it, it still stays. So if it fails, it would have been restrained. Um, 
if if it succeeds, then I I mean it's still difficult terrain. Okay. Uh, uh, all these are it's like 20, 20 foot sphere. Yeah. Twenty foot square. Okay. All right. Uh, we're gonna use a sphere to represent it. Uh, because we so, do not have... put it like right here, right there. All right. <laughs> it's as big as it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it technically is a little bit bigger because it's a square, not a circle, but we'll deal okay, with that yeah. in a second. Um, Fair enough. Okay. It's semantics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Care, you, uh, what's your action? Uh, I'm holding it. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. Basically, I'm holding my action to break the fucking lock if Cal can't pick it for some odd reason. Love it. Okay. I mean, you never really know what the DC is. I did roll kind of okay but you know okay so not well but okay <laughs> what did you roll carabao it's a 27 27 I let me look at my notes i have too many tabs <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. if the dc is like 26 like last time like the magic power and stuff like <laughs> no no uh, you do, you do open the lock. Okay. It opens. Fine. You see the lock moves to the side. Yeah, I guess I didn't have time to, like, investigate it. Yeah, that's a that's, thing. That's yeah. someone, yeah. yeah. Um, no, I do what? need everyone in a 30 foot radius of this bubble. Oh, that's so everyone. That's, yes, everybody. Uh, I need everyone to make me a dexterity saving throw. As you see from uh, one of the little hands that uh, this uh, um, the hell engine threw, it, it, it almost looked like um, like a ball of just electricity that hit the ground and it poof, exploded in a 30 foot radius. So everybody needs to roll me dex and then Carabon needs you to roll me two dex saves. Right there with you, West. Mm -hmm. right. 19. Uh, we are big, not fast. <laughs> 19 is a fail. I'm sorry. Yep. All right, oh, I failed. shit. Failed. Okay. So, uh, Caraba, what did you get on the first deck save? Um, first deck save was 23. And then the second one? The second one is a 30. 30. Oh, you <laughs> And you have uh, evasion, right? Yeah. So you take no damage. you take no damage from the trap, for sure. I want to mm -hmm. see if this one, if it's like a half damage or not. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, uh, okay. So yeah, you would you would actually avoid all the damage. So let me roll the damage first, and then we'll describe what's happening. Uh, okay. This is gonna be faster for me. I don't like it. Sorry, guys. Not scared. I'm prepared. Yep. That's not all. gonna be great. Okay. So everybody takes. My backup character is a five-year-old currently in this timeline. Oh, my 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 evasion is saying that basically if I take a deck save and I save it and it says take half damage, then it's I no don't damage. Take any yeah, exactly. Damage. So you take no damage whenever right now, Carabao. Uh, that's why rogues are great. So, firstly. You guys take 33 points of bludgeoning damage from the impact hitting the ground and all this rubble and stone flying and bone cracking just exploding everywhere. And then you take... Mm -hmm. That's not what I wanted. Should have kept that one. Uh, and then it's nine points of lightning damage. That's just a little tingle. What was it before the, light, the lightning damage? 33. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. This is, from, is this from the this is from the hell engine throwing something. This, this, this is the hell engine them. throwing a a uh, <laughs> a bomb of electricity essentially. This thunder cannon. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, nice. uh, I have the, one of those. <laughs> the door. Yes. As soon as you opened it, um, and the lock was unmade. Unfortunately, you did not look at the traps. And on the two corners, these two engines of fire came out so carabao as you see these two jets of fire approaching your face immediately jump back 
and as soon as you're jumping back, you see this sphere. You're kind of doing like a, a backflip, but almost like a limbo-ish backflip uh, without actually elevating too much off the air. As it hits the ground, every single rock that it's exploding, you're kind of just grabbing it and using its momentum to push you wherever you need to go for the lightning bolts to not actually hit you. As you see your entire team get hit. I need to ask the horrible question now. Who got 15 or lower on the deck save? You guys are paralyzed for one round. But fuck. As oh, the two biggest ones. As they're sure. shocked, and just, you're just trying hard to move, and you see all their veins flinching. I need everyone. We got tased, bro. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I need right everyone to, uh, to roll me initiative, please. That's bad. I don't usually Did roll. Did roll a natural 20? Uh, no. One off. Okay. Natural you. Okay. This is a Carabao style initiative. <laughs> okay. Uh, everybody sees their, their initiative Holy on the board, shit. right? Yeah. Hey, yes, I hold on. I have, will have Vic be my witness on this one. Oh. Wow. Hold on, that's not mine. There we go. Oh, little. Oh shit! Little, it's still little freaking Cthulhu, easy though. Woo woo to you too. Oh wow! Yeah, it. Oh, uh... oh god! Thank god. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're getting that. I, I think uh, Sydney for the same. <laughs> Chat for the same. Oh, thank oh, God! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You get an advantage, and you get an advantage. Even even when she's not playing in our Wednesday game, she's she's pulling all the all the death cleric stuff. <laughs> yeah, I have oh a, shit! I have a job. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, West Caracol and Carabao has advantages from chat. Uh, you know, I it's a thing. It's do. a thing. It's whatever. I know. He's I knew I knew this panicking. exactly. It, it, he's panicking. <laughs> <laughs> I knew exactly what would happen, and it was that Tab, Tab had this one plan that she was banking on for a whole week straight, and I'm like, anything after that, bumpkiss. After that, it's just static. Oh. After that, it's just straight panic now. So we're we're hitting panic mode. Okay, so because I don't know what else to do. Carabao, you're on deck. What I'm are we doing? Think about the it, door so. is unlocked. The trap has been triggered. Uh, so the trap is still going? It's still um, like... No, the flames are done and the, the static oh. has left the air. Um, but you do see both your friends uh, a little Jeez. paralyzed. Um, I'm casting Fog Cloud right in front of this guy. Okay. Very nice. Uh, I think I want to maybe high up the level to make it a little bit bigger. Going straight London fog. Okay. Yeah, I'll put it at level two. It's uh, going to be a 40 foot instead of 20. I'm going to center it like right here. All right. There is a fog cloud completely consuming the engine. And it's a concentration, so the fly um, okay. Understood. gets removed from my concentration. So I can't fly anymore. My wings has disappeared. <laughs> Who? Okay, okay. All right, I like this. Anything else, Carabao? Uh, that's my action, so I think that's all I can do right now. Okay. The only bonus action I have is Mr. Sep. Spell wise and and the uh, rogue action stuff, so I'll just stand my ground. Okay, uh, it's the hell engine's turn, and I need to see what it can see. Okay, fog cloud will obscure its vision. Okay, all right, it is going to. This in the back, and it's difficult terrain, right? Yes. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, oh, fast 30. Uh, no! Damn it! it uh, oh, it's fuck! Pretty fast. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, God. everyone in its square needs to make. Let's go, everybody. So everybody, as it just just runs forward out of the cloud. Does it take any damage from going through the uh, um, your spell west? No. Okay. It's just it's just difficult terrain. That's okay. the the thorn something. Yes. All right. I need everybody that is I in broke. this space of the um, uh, hell engine as all these knives and spice and flails and all these, uh, weapons just emerge from the bottom compartments and underneath and just start wildly hacking and slashing. I need everybody to make me a dexterity saving throw. Uh, what are the, uh, paralyzed ones? Yeah, yeah. You, I believe... Well, we fail, don't we? Uh, I need to... You are paralyzed, not... Nah, but if we just wiggle and fall on the floor... <laughs> I would say roll with disadvantage <laughs> for right now. Non natural twenty. Natural twenty will be good. Uh, twenty six. Paralyze. Uh, you automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I would have failed anyway. So I uh, I rolled the natural one. Uh, nice. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna have you. Just gonna have you here. Okay, uh, and then I need to roll how many of those? Okay. All right, so uh, what did you get, Carabao? 26. All right, that's a pass. Uh, unfortunately, Wes, had to fail. Cole, what did you get? I got a 20. 20 is a pass. Uh, Care, unfortunately, that is a fail. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a successful save. So if you pass and you're successful, you may move anywhere that is five feet next to the engine. I'm going backwards. Yes. <laughs> We're getting the straight to the door. door. You're going like through the door? It. Sure. Yeah, since it's open, it's not that's, an obstacle. Yeah. I think that's like oh, my wait. my first reaction because that guy is in front of me. So. Yeah. <laughs> like, can, oh, can I can I uh, retcon my movement to also go to the door? Do you think I am a merciful DM? Yeah, you can. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. He has two victims right now that he's just running over with his lawnmower. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> okay. That's a little funny. Um, That's what this is. This is Dis's lawnmower. <laughs> they we accidentally opened the shed. The scary CR16 has just been downgraded to a lawnmower. Yeah, All that's right. what it is. Yeah. Okay. We uh, turn it off and it's just moving still. It doesn't require it, uh, gas or anything. Yeah, no. Unfortunately, <laughs> it, it's fueled by fear. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, do automatically fail this strength save because you are considered prone and you are Jeez. underneath the engine. Nice! Oh, great. You That's guys what... have death ward, don't forget! That's where yeah. you want to be. That is 29 points of uh, bludgeoning damage, specifically. That's, Every that's single the... blade that this thing has, it's so dull from just complete impact. Uh, with other creatures. Okay. Well, I'm bloody. Yeah, his husband kept telling him that he needs to change out the blades, but he's like, nah, it's fine. It still works. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Cole, it is now your turn. Uh, its movement was just that, and it rammed. Uh, and very funny. Um, no, 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 no. That was its movement. It still has an action. Oh, oh my. <laughs> that, it just moved. It We're just... going to vomit. Everybody in a sixty-foot cone that does not count West or uh, Care. You guys are. Oh thank God! <laughs> so I need have fun, y'all. Cole and um, Carabao. I need you guys to make me a dexterity saving throw. As it's uh, um, these goodness. two uh, small <laughs> mall. I am uh, so fucking lucky. West and Care just under the thing. That is also yeah. a twenty. Nice. Twenty-five. Okay. First time. <laughs> the uh, the small little jaws <laughs> underneath uh, the. Uh, the engine, um, you see this uh, um, uh, overflow of this uh, acidic green liquid, and to a point where like the the head start moving forward, and it just starts spraying chaotically. So in a sixty foot cone, that's a little bad. Okay, uh, what did you get, uh, Carabao, on your roll? Twenty five. Twenty five is a pass. 
What did you get, Cole? 20. 20 is good. 20 <laughs> is a pass. Just good. Okay. Cool. I need, I need is a... It half? So you have damage? I believe so, but I need to also but... get 60 foot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's 20, so much. 24. Yeah, that's everybody in the room. This is like, uh, what's that called? Oh no. There's it more misses... people in the room? It misses, it misses him. the corner. Yeah. What? I mean, when we backed up, could we have seen what was in the room? Or Yes. Uh, I'm put this towards the back. I'm going to control L to see what you see. Okay, cool. So, Cole and... Um, Carabao. Uh, you see exactly what you see, and I will explain it in a minute after I do the damage, yeah. um, and everything. Okay, so that okay. okay, uh, you guys pass. So Carabao, you take no damage. Cole, you're taking half damage, and no other restraints are placed upon you. Okay. Cool. Um. So. Uh, you will take eight points of bludgeoning damage. That is a half. And okay. then the acid is... So that's going to be 12 points of acid damage. Jesus. That's the half? I'm that's bloodied. Half. Yeah, that's a half. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. You see the acid um, start corroding things underneath, um, and those two cauldrons that are inside that are on fire, you see them start burning even hotter. They do not have a good reaction to fire. This is a lot of bad in one situation. So, Care and West, what you guys see is uh, uh, you being run over and you're trying your best to be as flat as you can be as these blades are doing everything they can to um, to cut you. And you finally find a good resting spot where you're just like, <laughs> oh, God, what the fuck just happened? As you see these uh, seven, uh, 17 wheels, there's one in the middle. Um, and of course there is. It's, it's moving back and forth. You guys need to like constantly be rolling to not just get completely squished. You need to time it perfectly to roll out, essentially. As you see, uh, this is, roll um, this acid being sprayed into this room. Um, and I'll say that you can, since the door is open, you guys didn't even try to close it, right? Uh, West of Care a fucking move. <laughs> uh, will <laughs> definitely see one thing in here, one individual in here. Uh, as they automatically fail and they're taking that full front of the damage. <laughs> Sucks to be them. No. Okay. So, as you see the acid start pouring down and start melting the stone and the bones that are underneath, and it, it, it starts collecting underneath a even st uh, um, stronger stone that has this uh, odd reflective shine underneath. Um, when the door is open, as you both look at each other <clears throat> to just confirm that, yes, Wes is alive, yes, Kara is alive, and you look forward underneath the wheels, you will see um, a pretty large room that has uh, these cauldrons that uh, ignited uh, with the acid they ignited, and now they're a lot brighter. Two, ca well, you see one cage, and in that cage was a very uh, emaciated broken and bruised um torn off winged angel who is now covered in acid and crying in pain and melting Oops. that was a hell engine's turn hey Oops. uh <laughs> cole what do we do <laughs> uh well, since his banishment didn't work, all this crap's happening. He's freaking out, and since he's close to it, okay. Does it look like at all he can climb up on this thing? On the engine? Yes. I, Brave. Yes, you can definitely climb on the engine for sure. It's a huge uh, machinery, yeah. Um, because I'm so scared this isn't going to work and I'm freaking out and I don't know if it's going to work. Okay, fuck it. Um, Cole is going to go forward and climb on it. 
first. Roll me in athletics. Hold on. Athletics? I'm not good at athletics. You are trying to avoid all the weapons that are swinging forward, the claws trying to grab you, and the three 18? individual... 18 does it. Uh, you are moving at half speed, so your 30s okay. reduced to 15, which it is a 15-foot tall construct, so you when can make it to the top. When he on it... Okay. Sure. He is going to... It's a really big spell, but I hope to God it works. Um, he's casting Anti-Magic Field. Okay. Your magic field is how big? 10 foot radius. Okay. Place yourself where you are. I guess right... The center of it. Climb on it, yeah. Excuse me. Okay. What level is. Are you casting into Magic Field? Eighth level. Eighth level. I need to read one specific word on Anti Magic Field. Meanwhile, Kara's underneath that thing trying to, like, make certain that his lower bits don't get cut off by all the wheels. That's important. Yeah, don't you don't want that. Since he now no longer has pants. That is, yeah, that's true. Uh, okay. What is the... Are you choosing for everything to be inside the bubble? He's mainly targeting, like, he's pretty much trying to target the, 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 the thing that he's okay, on. Okay, 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 If that makes sense. Like, his mind's trying to think, like, okay, maybe this thing's powered by magic. I'm gonna try to turn it off. Okay. So, this is what, how we're going to explain. I need you to specifically choose if you're going to be at 15 foot... 10 feet or the 5 foot uh, marker when you're climbing on it? I guess he's going for like the mid. Okay, so you're so at 10, 10 feet. Foot. Okay. Yeah, okay. 10 foot. Like, I guess he's seen how Ragnar works, has worked on Braum. Mm -hmm. Because Braum also ran like on an engine. He's like assuming that's where the engine's at. I'm going to target that. Okay. So as soon as Cole, as soon as you climb up there and you're avoiding every single blade that's going, you see these claws try to grab you and you see this flail actually extend from it. And this ball of lightning starts, uh, well, hitting itself and trying to get you. And as you're dodging everything, just climbing and climbing. And in a burst of magic, as your eyes glow uh, red and your entire skin glows the same color as the bubble that is emitted. You see the engine power down. West and care. Underneath, you still see the wheels turning. Okay. But you see every um, see uh, uh, source of heat. You see the lightning flows completely go away. You um, see, I'll say half of the weapons on top just uh, collapse and some even fall off. So you all three will hear a like a shutdown but again care Wes you still see the engine moving underneath the wheel sorry moving underneath all right cool that was a good spell what else do you do that was action uh half your moment you still have a bonus well full moment since half to difficult terrain bonus action um uh, he can't see anybody underneath, so... Yeah, that's correct. He's... It's not like you would have been able to drag them out. Yeah, no. Um, he's just... That's all he can do. Okay. Actually, no, no, yeah, that's all he can do. Because I couldn't remember if bonus action would allow one to drink a potion or not. 
Uh, yes, uh, we're trying out those new rules. So yes, yes, you can drink a potion as a bonus action, and it's the basic rules of drinking a potion. Roll your d4s. If you're taking a full action to drink your potion, you get the full benefit of the potion. Okay. That's something I want to try. So as a bonus action, will he get the full benefits of it or no? No, you have to roll. Okay. Yeah. Wait, so... So you have to roll for your potion. Okay. Yes. If you use so a bonus roll action, a you roll. No, no uh, you use you your the, the, the dice. Yes. How oh, you okay. normally roll for a potion, that's how we're doing it with the bonus action. Okay. But if you're going to take an action, you don't, you're getting like the max. Okay. I'm just going to drink a potion because I'm hurt. Okay, tell me who, uh, what you get. Hold on. I have to get my d4s. I'm sorry. I'll, uh, as you start drinking the potion and trying to get that relief you, as that warm liquid goes into your throat you look down and you see no wound being healed you oh, the bubble. that's right sorry that potion Oops. was used up crap okay sorry. I have two left that's okay well that's good um, I, I guess the only th mm -hmm. sorry. oh shit no no go ahead what's up what are we gonna do can he can he he can't say anything though can you can, he? you can speak yeah Wes, care, get out from underneath it. No shit. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that you both looked at each other and just looked up up and said at the same time. I'm just... trying to power it down. Just get up, get out from underneath. No, head. I thought I was gonna actually take a nap under here. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, Cole, <laughs> you see this wasp the size of a a very large horse flying towards you. You, that? you are concentrating on your spell. Shit. Oopsies. So, this hell spawn boss is going to make two attacks as just oh, flies over towards you. I never thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about the wasps. I think this misses at the 14. Miss. Okay. Ooh. One attack. One attack down. Second attack. That's an 18. Miss. All right. As, as the wasp tries to uh, hit you, and it goes through the bubble, since it's naturally a flying creature, and it just tries to sting you. You kind of roll to the side, <clears throat> roll to the other side, as it penetrates the steel of this construct. That, that stinger is incredibly dense. All right. Care. You're no longer paralyzed. Yay! Um, what would you like to do? He's going to uh, look over at West, flick West in the titty, and then crawl his ass ah! out. Okay. I will need you to make me an athletics uh, or acrobatics check, your choice, to not get hit with any of the blades underneath. Uh, 18. 18 passes. All right. Uh, it will take five feet of movement, so 10. And then to sign up is Five. an additional 15. Okay, so that's 25 gone. So I still have uh, 15 feet left. All right, Can awesome. I get to the door. Yes, I can get into the room. Yes. <laughs> I am still leaving the asset there because it is physically in. Uh, is, it the, is it a difficult terrain? It's right difficult now? terrain, yes, yes. It is involving uh, the area. So the asset is going to stay there. Okay. And then care. Yeah. Once you go inside, since now three out of the four <laughs> of you guys have seen, you do see the complete singe, uh, almost bone now angels. It's still. Uh, trying to live and you see this um, and I'll say Wes you also see it it's almost like um, as soon as you were looking at your friend go through and start moving yourself to get out of the way it just that light that you saw inside kind of entrance you for a split second as you all see as this angel's grace starts being ripped off from them and this ball of white and gold starts immediately turning red and corrupt and that sphere expands from a, maybe a two inch sphere to about five feet, then 10 right. feet. And then until it just poof, explodes and the whole room gets a burst of energy. And then you see all that, um, 
almost like dust, but this red dust just starts sprinkling through the air, going through you guys, and heading past you, past where the hell engine was, into whatever room behind you is. Cool. Uh, was it my action to get out from underneath that? No, that would have been still your movement. I just wanted to make sure that you didn't get hit. So you still Perfect. have bonus, you still have action. I'm going to use an action to take a potion of healing out from his chain, uh, okay. from his scale mail, and drink a greater potion of healing. All right, please no. do. Uh, 20 HP back to me. And you still have your bonus. And Wes, you're on deck. Okay, cool. Anything else that you're going to be doing here? Uh, yeah, give me one yeah, second. No problem, no problem. Uh, he is going to uh, just kind of bang against his chest and activate his Halgrun so he's uh, resistant to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Nice, nice. All right. And so that's all he's that going to do. Uh, start having its magical energy that it's uh, tied in to, to giant kin and whatnot, and you are resistant. All right. Wes, what do we do? All right, yeah, we're crawling straight out from under that thing. All right, roll me athletics, acrobatics, your choice. Cool. Athletics. Come on. And you will be, it will take five feet to move out and then 15 feet to get up, back up. All right, so I rolled 23. Yeah, easily enough. As you do it and you just wait, like, (laughs) and you just grab it. (laughs) slide yourself maybe a couple of bruises and skid marks from uh, the bones yeah. that kind of cut your back but n- nothing nothing major okay all right yeah, so probably just s- slide forward just to get out sure then you see like... if you see Cole up there he's like standing there kind of like paralyzes this fucking hell wasp is right, right so... in front of him as he slides out 15 to get up so that's so I got like some movement to get in yeah. the room. You still have uh, ten, unless you have uh, barbarian. You have probably more movement than that. I have a total of forty movements. So you feet. should have twenty more feet. Twenty more feet. All right. That's. Give me right in there. There's somewhere in there. Let me get five. And ah, my god. And as you move forward, you immediately yeah. see the acid on the ground, and then yeah. I assume you choose to not step on it and I move to the side. Definitely to, yeah, yeah, I not, um, not step on it. Just because uh, again, we can't be in the same square. Uh, yeah, I'll just okay. turn. Yeah, I'll just turn around and I'll see Cole on the thing. But Cole, get down! What are you doing up there? Like, I'm trying to. I was trying to get it to cut. Cole, da- Cole, down. I was trying to get it. To Cole, get d- down. <laughs> Points to the wasp next to me currently. Get down. <laughs> Uh, all right, you gonna catch me? <laughs> Maybe. Wes, you still have an action and a bonus. Yeah, I'm gonna use that action to also use a potion of healing if I have one, unless I gave my last one to Cole. Let's find out. Well, Cole gave one to you. Oh, uh, did you? Okay, yeah, I've got a greater healing potion. I will use that. I was gonna say, okay. if you don't, then grab one out of uh, Kara's titties. I'm not reaching into your titties, <laughs> sir. Uh, also, just so everyone else, you guys do have, uh, everybody has, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we do. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, Jesus, real quick, out of uh, yes. if it's okay. Um, from judging by the door, um, can this thing fit through the door? This thing is fifteen foot wide. The door is ten feet. Okay. That's why we're all in the room. Okay. <laughs> but you did see it spray acid into the room. Okay. And it did launch a sphere of electricity. So it does have a lot of range capability, but yeah, yeah. it cannot yeah, physically go. Into, yes. Okay. Anything else, West? If not, Cal, you're on deck. Um, I guess he's just gonna ask the question. Of, we're 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 going somewhere else, aren't we? We have to go through this this big metal thing. Hmm. We're gonna have to go through the big metal thing. Probably consider. Now, did Cole see like the like from this angel soul? go past and through the room? Uh, yeah, let me... Uh, everybody saw from the angel okay. the soul pretty much did this. It went that way. Yeah, pointing past it. Yeah, that's where it went. <sighs> okay. Maybe we can go around? I don't know. 
Sure, let's try. Okay, that's all he's doing then. Okay. Carabao, you're on deck. I mean, you're next. What do we do? Cole, you're on deck after the hell engine. You will see Cow just uh, extend his bow up. You know, there's a counterweight here and there. Okay. So basically, I'm just doing my, my gunsmith thing so I can have advantage on my attack. <laughs> okay, okay. You're moving things uh, around. Yeah, no problem. I'm attacking the, the wasp, though. Okay, okay. roll me to hit. You have advantage. Because I feel like that thing is, you know, you know, this thing is kind of powered down if I attack it. Try to attack it, he might power up. I don't know. <laughs> but this guy is attacking Cole, so I'm going to go do that. Uh, I'm also taking Sharpshooter. You're fucking lucky. All right. <laughs> that's 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 the center of this spot right here. Okay. Cool. Roll me to hit. Just by a fucking inch. It's like, fine, fine, fine. Well, don't let me have my fun. Uh, I, I'm trying to get uh, the calculator Ragnar got. <laughs> the 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 good thing that this thing is big enough that uh, if it was a medium sized creature, then uh, we would have seen what happened because you're shooting into an anti magic field. But because it does have a big um, triple C butox with the stinger, <laughs> uh, you can aim for that. Okay. Okay, so that is minus five to my. Yep. Attack. That is gonna be a 19. Just hits. Oh. Okay. You do sneak attack. Um, yeah. Uh, what type <laughs> of damage is this? It's th thunder. It's thunder and piercing. Okay, cool. Uh, roll me damage. Do I need to separate that? No, no, you're fine. Okay. Thank you. I have too many dice that I need to roll. So this is for the that, that's for that, and then I need one more D6. Oh, so that's a lot of, of dice. Aw. We'll see if it's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. I didn't do the daddy. Oh, He's taking a nap. <laughs> I love how that's just become a thing. If you get three sixes uh, with D6s, it's, it's daddy. It's daddy. I mean, I have three fives. Alright, that's daddy's younger brother. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Uh, plus seven. Plus ten. Because sharpshooter. Yes, sharpshooter. 54 nice. points of damage. Are you fucking kidding me? 54? Yeah. God damn, how do you want to one shot it? <laughs> nice. It's 52 <laughs> HP. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And it was 44, but sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, like, you know, you see me like extending the the length of this bow to kind of counter out the balance, and then you'll see that little, the little like line, that bar that you have, you know, the professional mm -hmm. archers, and then you, I just go, and it was like the bow is just charging electricity. It was okay. like, want some thunder cannon, but I'm not attacking you. <laughs> All <laughs> right. As, and then I just releasing that big bolt of bow of as, arrow. <laughs> as you release that pff, thunderous arrow and it hits and it starts piercing through, you do get a mental uh, link with it. Um, it can oh. speak telepathically up to 300 feet. Okay. And you hear in your head, um, it, it's it's odd and convoluted, and it's, uh, you don't know why you understand what it's saying. But it's just like <laughs> just uh, just growls and, and 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 chattering as it says, "The hive will know who you are," and all you see mentally is dozens and dozens of these wasps inside this tunnel. And it's oh. almost like you're oh. inside the hive, and you just see each one. Uh oh. <laughs> you count about 20. Whoops. Uh, and then oh. it kind of extends to all the screaming angels. Um, and then you're back in your own body. You okay. were for a second linked with the hive. I'm just... Uh, oh, what's up with you and hives? Yeah, just... <laughs> oh, no, Mike. Uh, out of con 
Oh, Mac, I mean, not Mike. Yeah. But out of context, you'll just hear Carabao and say, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I didn't do it. And as this like cow boss lands in, it's about, I think, like 600 pounds. So when it falls, it makes a big dent. Mm -hmm. So, Cole, there's no longer a boss in front of you. Yeah. You're on the engine, right? Yes. Okay. Hey, Cole, anything else care about? Yeah, that I'm gonna. Ah, sure, why not? I don't know if it's gonna attack me, so bonus action, disengage, and then I'm just gonna move backwards. Dead, dead, what have you? Yeah, what have Okay. <laughs> move I'm your character go. where you're gonna move. Alright, and then uh, yes, you, you gotta hit the cage. Uh, I guess I'll go cage. over here. Does this hurt me when, when I stand there? Or yeah, I actually, uh, you do take six points of acid damage. Okay. No, whoops. As your feet <laughs> separating, and even your your magical leather starts singeing a little bit, and it's going through. Oh, oh no! This is my magical boots. All right. So, uh, uh, let me know because you're gonna start in that turn next time. Okay. Uh, Cole, can I have you yeah. roll me a D eight, please? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Eight. Okay, you're on it, right? Yeah. <laughs> As the engine breaks the bridge, falls 15 feet, 30, sorry, feet down hits part of the lava and actually makes a connected bridge underneath uh i would like for you to make me an acrobatics check please acrobatics oh thank god y'all daddy is with me tonight natural 2021 20, nice. i will since you got a nat I will say you can choose to keep hold of it and keep the anti-magic field on it, or you jump off and the magic field stays on you. <clears throat> I mean, panicking with, so this is just going off Cole. Cole's going to panic and he's going to jump, jump off of it. I told you to get down. And, yeah, Wes told me to get down, so Dude. Cole's gonna jump off and keep the okay. anti-magic field up. Okay. Okay. As you, oh shit, grab the wrong thing. As you do, it falls down into the crevice, thirty feet down, and you see the engine start spinning around as the flame hits you. Uh, the flame, you see the flame, the the mall. Sorry, it doesn't hit you. Um, but it's going to do its best and throw another thunder cannon. As it launches it. Yeah. That's how physics works. Care. I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw with advantage. Great. Because there Do is... I need to roll? Uh, actually, no. Oh, because of the anti-magic field? Mm-hmm. How much damage do I take? What did you get? R.I.P. I got an eight. Oh, buddy, sorry. I rolled a, I rolled a three and a four. Okay. Okay. That's. Oh shit. That is going to be twenty-seven points of bludgeoning damage, Whoa. which you resist uh, because of your rune. That's true. Half of that would be. Uh, we. Uh, Fourteen. Uh, yeah, we round uh, up to 14, and then you'll take uh, 13 points of thunder damage. And, and what did you... What, did you roll below a 15? I rolled an 8! Oh! oh yeah, you're paralyzed again. Oh, buddy. Yeah! And, and I'm bloodied! Oh, no. Again! <laughs> He's just gonna look at Cole 
and glare at him. Be like, ah. really? <laughs> as as it's not really? on the on, it's not on the bridge anymore. It's still as there. It gets stuck on the crack of where the magma is going. Um, is it literally like beetled upside it's down? Beetled like... Upside down as it's crushed there, but it throws this uh, ball of electricity that when it hits Perfect. you, it just kind of expands all around you. And you see all these bolts of lightning and flares of electricity and thunderish um, uh, energy uh, cascading around you. And unfortunately, one of those bolts does hit Care. As Care, just looking as uh, as Cole's bubble kind of reflects that, and it's. It's almost like when you're putting a spoon in the faucet and just sprays everywhere else, and uh, it did <laughs> hit you. That is I'm the hell sorry. ending's turn. It is Cole's turn now. Cole's looking at Kara like, I'm sorry. But it's not blocking the bridge anymore. Um, Looks at everybody. Hey, uh, the pathway's clear now. Do we want to go this way? <laughs> at this time, Cole... Uh, uh -huh. you because about six seconds will pass since the first uh -huh. wasp has died. You hear it. Yeah, entire we need to get across wasp, the go across the way. Um, making a horrible noise and start spinning. And everyone, all you hear from the inside is just angel screaming. Guys, 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 guys! We need to go across. Like he's pointing, and Cole's just gonna five. 10. Question, when he goes through the, the fog cloud that Car Carabao put out, is it like dissipating it, like as he's walking through with the anti-magic field? Yeah, it actually will make uh, a, a complete bubble round. 30 gets him here. Okay. And yeah, he's still gonna keep it up. He's literally looking at everybody like, come on guys, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What? Nothing. What? Nothing. So. I oh. Will, mm -hmm. Yes, anything else? Sorry. I would have ret I'm going to retcon one thing. As Cole's passing care before he goes across the bridge, he's just going to put a healing po a greater healing potion down by care's feet. Okay. Wow! He can't give it to him or else, or else it's not going to work. <laughs> There's a there's a potion I'm on your, uh, by your feet. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can just go across. Okay. At this I'm sorry, point, I'm I will say that I'm going to move initiative here, so nobody else can see it. Uh, you probably guys can still see it. I'm not getting rid of it, but I'm just moving away from the audience. You're not necessarily in combat at the moment. The hell engine is still there, and it's still a threat. <laughs> but still a bitch. You have. Correct. You do have some breathing room, and Carabao, West, and Care. You hear from it where you are. A voice, very smooth, and charming going to have to finish this quickly before we're interrupted as much as what I would like to hear you scream some more I need that grace so the party is technically split at the moment I'm going to roll a d20 odd will be Cole and uh, even will be the rest of you guys. I'm sorry. I love how Cole just fucking booked it. Eleven. Odd. Cole, what are we doing? <laughs> He's waiting for everybody else to cross the bridge. Okay. Do you want to ready anything or like, um, you you do see this hive start moving? Like it is buzzing. What the hell can I do to? You um, still have your arcane eye. I don't know if you need to concentrate on that. Uh, yeah, that's already down then. Okay. All right. Um, if he move, if he moves right here, is he kind of out of the sight of the the nest? Uh, you think so? Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna kind of just like go in the corner right here. Just no problem. 
Okay. Uh, Do I need to roll stealth or? At, at the moment, there's not a single wasp outside, so you don't need to worry about okay. that right now. Mm -hmm. Um. But yes, so you move over there, and you're just waiting for your friends to come through. Yeah. Okay, Wes, Cole, uh, sorry, Wes and uh, Karaba, are you still concentrating on your spells? No. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably just not concentrate on Fog Cloud. You will still concentrate on? Okay, cool. Then it's no, I will. You I will won't. not? Okay, okay. Yeah. Because right. if we're trying to move there, then. Sure. I don't want it there. I don't want yep. it anymore. Which actually, if you do look at it, when Cole went through it, there is now a tunnel through the cloud. Oh. Um, if that changes your mind, if you want to dissipate it, then uh, let me know. But it is dissipated right now. Okay. Yeah, I'll just let it go. Okay. All right. Uh, Wes, Care, Carabao, you're in a room that has acid all over the floor. Uh, a dead angel, another angel, looking at you guys like it has no hope left. <sighs> Does anyone know Celestial? Me. Okay. Carabao. Because the only other person. <laughs> you will hear the angel in Celestial look at you and... You've come to a damned place. We're all just toys here. And just goes to the corner and sits down. And just closes its eyes. You see he has bruises and cuts, broken bones, its wings have been ripped. His entire back is just one sheet of pink, of just blood that has been, um, dried. What do we do, guys? Um, I, West right now, his, his entire thought is on the voice that he had just heard. And just kind of like, would you say that it came from like you would have heard a direction? From... Yes. Okay. Uh, more over here. Yeah. Uh, West is gonna look at uh, Chowerbow and just kind of like, did we want to? I don't want to move too far away from Cole if he's up, trying to go over there. I fucking told him to jump down, and he just. Are you good? Good, <laughs> but he's like pats him gently on the back. I'm, I'm tell, and I'm, you're no longer paralyzed. Like I feel like, like right now, I feel like we don't have a choice but to go over there because he's not listening. I know he's not listening. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna go wherever the door is for to this jail cell or whatnot. Maybe right here or something. I don't sure. Know. I'm gonna right. try to unlock it. Okay, roll me uh, Thief Souls. Meanwhile, Kara's gonna use an action and a bonus action to drink two fucking potions. Okay. Shotgun potions. Was one of them mine? He didn't even 21. see you pick it up. Or oh, see you place it there. Um, I thought. You, you saw the potion. Yeah, you saw Look. the potion. What is that? Looking straight down at Cole sure. over that way, and he was paralyzed, so. It wouldn't have seen Cole put it down at his feet. I feel like Cole was just like, here, here. It just puts it down like, I, there. Just I'm sorry, I can't give it to you. Or... Takes it over like, your potion. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, he'll, he'll take the one that uh, Cole gave him. Okay. okay, thank you. I think I think West is going to kind of take a peek down that way. Just like, I got I got long legs. I'll catch up quickly enough if you're worried about. Yeah. I'm, Cole. I'm going to unlock the cage, okay. open it. And just talk As, to him in Celestial and say, It opens the cage. Uh, Wes, where are you going to? So, West is going to. Uh, mm, oh, mm. sorry. Uh, uh, Carabout, you do take three points of acid damage walking out of the yeah. thing. And you're carefully not technically stepping on it at the moment, West. Alright, yeah, so he's, he's he... being very careful not to step on it. And, like, yeah. once he gets to that corner, yeah, uh, he's going. Yeah. That is four also points of acid damage. For West? Yes. Okay, that's fine. And that is until you stop moving. Okay. Uh, yeah, so he's going to kind of uh, try to sneak around the corner. 
Okay, if you are sneaking, then roll me stealth. Okie dokie, that's a good stat. We believe in that stat. He's watched... Well, I can't say he's watched Carabao, but he believes he's watched Carabao. I rolled so close! I rolled so low, and this stupid fuck has a high-ass perception. Oh no. (laughs) Uh, I rolled an 11. (laughs) I watched as it, like, sat on the 20 for a second, and then it just went... (laughs) Fuck. I'm going to let you know that that's a dirty 20. I rolled a 4. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Where are you going to end your movement, West? Oh, um, I think he was going to just kind of just... Like hug the wall? Okay, okay. Yeah, he's kind of hugging the wall, crunk style. Uh, roll me perception as well, West, and then I'll go back to Carabao. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's a 6. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best for this. I think I, was, I should have been the one who did the uh, no, no, uh, recon. You're good. You're good. <laughs> I've watched you do it a hundred times. I've never seen you actually do it, but I like to picture in my head how it works. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, you hear nothing great. Also, nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing bad happening. There's a door there. There's this, oh, there's a door there? There's a door there, and then there's a door over here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh... Car- okay. uh, Carabao. Um, who? <laughs> then we'll go back to Care, and then we'll go to Cole. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are in front of this angel. Oh, I'm just opening it and tell, and tell the angel, free yourself if you must, but I need to save my friend. And then... When you say free yourself, mm-hmm. you have your bow on your back. Mm-hmm. Um... What other weapons do you have on you? Well, I have my sword and daggers and different kinds of arrows. And Okay. <laughs> when you say free yourself, he looks at you. Thank you. And I am... rushes you. Oh, oh, because I, I was going to mm-hmm. s- maybe slowly put uh, like a dagger so he can use or something. No problem. He's gracefully then he will not bum rush you as you you say release yourself you're free you place a dagger Mm -hmm. on the ground thank you 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 do truly know what this place is like and grabs the dagger you know exactly what this place is like and it's looking at the dagger and then care you don't like how he's speaking Uh and then he plunges that dagger into its throat Oh, I don't know. Well, he freed himself. Yeah, he, he did exactly what you asked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then its essence <sighs> sh- spills out. Its grace gets corrupted and flows back. And uh, Cole, when we get to use, when you start seeing more sparkles of its essence go into that wall. Mm-hmm. Um, so, what that happened. Cow, is there anything else that you're doing? Unfortunately, uh, as this <laughs> angel took its own life to yeah. just escape being here. I'm not gonna. I, I don't know what else to do, so I'm just gonna start moving towards Cole. Okay. I I'm doing this very stealthily because I'm scared of um <laughs> the buzzing. <laughs> okay. Uh, then roll me stealth. Okay. 26. 26. All right. Move yourself where you're going to be. Um, it's going to be half speed. 5, 10, 15, right? So mm-hmm. that, that's 15 feet. All right. And you're crouching underneath about maybe that yeah. three-foot gap, and you're just hunching over um, as the uh, the border, like the, the, the wall of the bridge is about three feet, and you're just trying your best to make – you're not making any noise. Yeah. But you're also no. pretty, <laughs> pretty hidden. Uh, care, what are we doing? Care is just kind of rub his temples and looking over at Cole and uh, uh, Cow going over there, and then looking back to the corner that West just rounded and just going. <sighs> Don't go too far. I can't hear you because I'm 
guys, I can't hear shit right now. <laughs> I rolled a six in perception. If I can't hear beyond that door, I can't hear around that corner. <laughs> I was gonna walk back to this corner, trying to avoid the acid. Okay. And, like, and then eventually you're gonna... Around yeah. And see what he sees. Okay. Are you going to choose to stop there? Yeah, no, he's stopping at the corner and, like, peeking his head around Scooby-Doo style. Okay. Uh, roll me perception, then. I'll, uh, I'll give you the corner. Uh, 16. 16. Okay. When you peek to the corner, you see the, the, the light that's on the other side. Um, you'll see the two doors... And uh, as Wes, you're just getting like, oh, what's that? You, you're starting to get something out of your ear. Like, I, you have no idea what that is, but it's flesh and maybe an organ just like somehow wedged into your like, oh, that's very good in here. And you start to take that shit out as um, care you do here. Uh, th that smooth, charismatic voice. <sighs> I guess I don't have any more time. I hear them breathing in my playpen. I'll have to introduce myself. West. West. Buddy. Uh huh. And those were here. Well, now it does because you're so fucking loud about saying it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll come back. We'll start with Wes, Care, then Rognar. I mean, oh, Carabao, oh, goddammit. Wow. Um, hey. Oh, been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Right Rognar comes in with a shotgun. <laughs> right. <laughs> fucking Doom music starts playing, rip and tear. <laughs> <laughs> Rafanis is the uh, um, what's the what's the thing that they collab with? Um, animal Crossing. Yeah, yeah. Rafanis is an Animal Crossing art, and Rogan Art yes. doesn't do more. Uh, Cole, what are we doing? <laughs> you uh, you don't hear any footsteps. Unfortunately, I don't think your passive perception would have been high enough to see. And there is a wall. Um. So be, yeah, so you wouldn't be able to see Carabao either. Okay. Yeah, my passive perception's twenty-five. Just okay. Uh, yeah, I. What was your twenty-six uh, or twenty-three? Twenty-six. Okay. Even if the wall wasn't there, reaching that fifteen-foot height, uh, you still would not been able to see Carabao because he got Cole, hu Cole hugging the wall is gonna just like move over here and just peek around, like to look to see if anybody's there. You do see a Carabao as like a little like exclamation mark. <laughs> Pops up over its head. He's just gonna mouth to Calabella. Like, everybody? He's just mouthing to Calabella, like, where the fuck is everybody? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna mouth mm -hmm. something to you where. With your mask on? I'll say, since Cal, you're being interrupted, what are you guys doing? <laughs> oh no, I'm just saying, like, you ran off. You were the one who left the party. <laughs> Cole realizing what he did and it's you like, were the oh, chosen. Fuck. They're stuck <laughs> over there. Kinda, actually. <laughs> Weird words. Kinda is. Weird words. Cole's just kind of like looking over. Is this a door right here, Jesus? It is not a door. That is a, a okay. solid wall. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just like, I no, can't no, yeah, hold yeah. the door. Uh, uh, it, it, it is a door on the actual map, but every door that we're going to be used will be identified by these uh, purple squares. Markers. Yeah, these markers. Okay. Cole is going to peek over at the nest mm -hmm. and quickly double his movement and make his way across the bridge back over to Cal. Okay. Uh, pass cow kind of into the room. Okay. Like, what's I'll going say like, that as soon as you do like, pass, there is a spray of acid that just shoots out from the hell engine, hitting nobody and just kind of raining around it. 
but okay. it's still active and it's trying to move. And you just hear stones breaking. Okay, yeah. Cole is going to, still keeping the anti-magic field up, make his way back over and into the room, avoiding the acid. Actually... Can I do that, or...? Oh, yeah, you can avoid the acid when you go in. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was trying to... You do notice that the acid is not moving from your anti-magic field. It's not moving? It is not moving. That is not magical acid. Okay. Um... Is there a way that he can see that he can step over it? Uh, you can walk around the edge is pretty okay, but there is not okay. a way to not avoid at the gigantic triangle that's still there. Oh, shit. Okay, then he's not stepping into the room. I will ret- If that's okay, I will retcon that. And he's just going to be kind of like peeked outside of the room. Kind of crouched next to Cowerbell. He would have tried to stealth too. But... Being so, he's trying to, like, it, hit in his mindset, he saw what happened when Care got hit the second time by the cannon, mm-hmm. and the fact that Care got hit by it, but he wasn't affected, but he's keeping his anti-magic field up, and looking at Cow just like, in case it tries to do that thing again, like, I, if we shouldn't be hit by it. I'm looking at my bow, it's like, my bow's not moving. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right. Uh, from outside the door, can Cole see Care? Yeah. Yeah, you should you be see Care, but you don't see West. <laughs> yeah. Cole looking over at Care, just like, where the fuck is West? Just Care. Uh, well, I guess yeah. Care can see it. He just kind of like points around the corner. <laughs> he was doing. I'm just gonna mum mum mutter. Uh, he's doing the recon this time. We take turns. Okay, Cole <laughs> reaching. Oh wait, it's not gonna work. God, Cole's literally going to. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I know I I'm probably doing a lot. He's going to take his rocky talkie, hand it to Cow, move away, and just be move away from Cow so Cow's outside of it. So your bow should start working and stuff again. Just being like, tell Wes to get his ass back up here. I'm saying, oh. Oh, we're going to be giving me directions now. <sighs> do you have the other walkie-talkie? The rocky-talkie? Uh, Wes? Yeah, I do have I do have a rocky-talkie. Okay. okay. I mean, I have one, too. Rogdar gave me one. <laughs> oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> I'll say that, sure, you guys had enough time that you can, like, Hone in the frequency and the signal so you can communicate with each other. Because not every walkie, rocky talkie communicates with the you other. You gotta like hit. You gotta like make sure you hit both buttons at the same time, and you gotta like <laughs> hold them together so they can pair. Yeah, exactly, what, exactly. What, what channel again? <laughs> okay. Yeah, the only one that doesn't have a walkie talkie. Understood, understood. All right, so West, you yes. see the door open. Oh. I hope I didn't lose you. I love how the second no, I'm here. You said I'm that. Here. Your camera went down, bud. Fuck yeah! Hold on, let me refresh. Cool. I'm refreshing. <laughs> yeah. I said, I said, I said, oh, wait, what is that? There's a. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no! Don't mind me. I'm just poor. Oh no! What is that? Hold on. That looks bad. I'm, I'm oh, trying to reload God. everything. What the fuck? So. Okay. Uh, I was trying to see who can see what. All right. So. There I am. Oh! Hello. West. Yes? You do see a large fiend. Incredibly oh. muscular. Um, pale white skin like rice. Um, it has uh, these uh, goat-like um, hooves and... Um, uh, unlike your friend this, who uh, their knees kind of bend forward, these kind of bend backwards. It has a sword okay. on its back that it is look like he just sh- is sheathing on uh, his breastplate that he has. He has a couple of skulls that look like they're fiends, and the other one looks like to be a dragon. He has these large bat wings and a cloak that kind of hovers around. And uh, to his long sword, he does have a couple of daggers um, on his hip. 
uh, and he has a uh, leotard that is kind of covering everything else. As he just <laughs> throws a gold-skinned angel to the ground. And he looks at you, and now we roll. And it moves its fingers forward. You can see that a spell was casted, and the head just rolls into the acid, disintegrating. And that gold grace that the angel had gets corrupted and starts pouring through the walls. You've never been properly introduced to a duke, have you? No, I haven't. Hi, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Down here, I am Tillivas. I was once second hand to the old master, and it seems that that was not appreciated. Now that our elder sister is in charge, he let she lets me do anything I want, do anything I want. So, so you would say the change in management's an improvement on your end? Definitely. Noted. Okay. But you're here, and you shouldn't be. He does he smile towards you. There is something about you that is... Shall I say devilish? I will enjoy skinning you and seeing what organs last longer. Oh. <laughs> West, you had to go down the damn hallway. Cole, you had to split from the party, didn't you? Shut up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see what you can do. Actually, can we put a pin in that? They turn <laughs> we can come back to you skinning me and all that, but I got something I gotta do first. They turn invisible. Okay. And you hear... And then they reappear right in front of you. Oh, okay. I guess we're doing it now. What are y'all... Uh, so, Care, as all this is happening, what are you doing? Uh, you see this guy come and talk to Wes for a bit. Uh, what, uh, with that, yeah, uh, Care, Care's gonna sigh, look over at Cole, like, nudge his head towards the thing. He's gonna try and reach around the corner and grab Wes by the scruff of the neck and, th like, throw him around the corner towards Cole. Okay, I will say that you're going to have to go through what? acid to actually grab onto Wes. Is that what we're trying to do? It's fine. Okay. That's the lowest I can cut. Also, that is going to be three points of acid damage. Cool. Okay, you grab West and you're pulling him. Oh, I'm gonna try and chuck his ass towards the door. Okay, West, are you resisting at all? Uh, pr if it's care, probably not. Okay. Oops. So as that happens, you see this fiend, this Duke, as he calls himself, and this. I would actually like both of you to roll me perception. Yay! Versus there. Why do I even bother? All right, I got Why the DC. Why do I bother? Twenty-one. DC was a twenty. I just rolled their Arcana check. As you grab it, you grab Wes and you kind of pull him uh, through, and you're making your way. And it turns. Care Inc. You you. Everything that's been happening here, you do flinch for a fraction of a second and embrace, he's going to attack you. There's, there's no yeah. doubt in your mind. They don't. And they twitch their head and are looking at y'all. Interesting. I see. This is chosen as a coward. Like he. Wow. That's some fighting words. Can Cole hear any of this? Yeah. 
West is gonna start. Carrie's gonna stop like mid swing to throw at West and just what? look at West and go, "What are you? What What do you want to do?" Well, I wanted to. I mean, I I was being pulled. I don't see that as being cowardly. I think you're just making a lot of preconceived notions here without actually getting to know us individually. <laughs> <laughs> there is a a grin that comes from the fiend in front of you and please demonstrate show me you have me cornered my back is to the wall i cannot fly up you have as they say the advantage do we really though <laughs> oh just for clarifications care they turned invisible then they reappeared in front of you yeah, with what you were saying, though, I was wondering if I see anything else since I can see invisibility. Yes, I forgot, your, I forgot about your robe. I, I mean, why fight it out if all that's going to happen is we're going to just beat you to a pulp and then you're going to get eaten by, you know, your your new manager? Like, that's not fun for you. You're not going to be able to do anything that you want to do anymore. Your ignorance is amusing. I have reached a point in divinity that if I die, I just come back. Look where I am. This is my home. You cannot defeat me here. If you manage to somehow, by the grace of of any of those cowards you call gods. I'll be back in less than a minute, as you are wounded. Cole, Cole hearing this, just muttering under his breath, I mean, I don't serve a god, but... <laughs> no, I mean, you're absolutely correct. Most gods are cowards. Like, you know, why... You, you are correct, sir. Mr. Duke. What are... <laughs> It's like, what's your name now? <laughs> there is... I straight, I straight up forgot it. So I'm gonna roll with it. Did, did he last. give his name? He I did. Oh, I just he straight did. up forgot. So I'm gonna roll Which, with that. Cole. Uh, they gave their name. That is something that not even King Shaw would actually do. Yeah, that's really important, and I'm so mad I forgot it. <laughs> did Cole hear him say speak his name? Yeah. Can you repeat it again? Because I, will, I was uh, type it in scream. Okay. Text. That means that means Kara heard the name too. Yeah, Kara heard the yeah. name. Everybody heard the name. Uh, I gonna... just fucking forgot. <laughs> like a dumbass. He's gonna whisper to West and say, ten feet up. It's invisible." If you're whispering, please roll me a self. Ooh. I'll see versus his passive. Uh, eighteen. All right. All right. Okay. It looks at you, West. Um, at this time, uh, Carabao and Cole, you've had plenty of time to do a couple of things. What would you guys like to do? There, Cole, uh, West is, as I'll say this, and then we'll move over there to you guys. Mortal, you are quite entertaining. Don't. Tell me he chose you. And then Cole and Carabao, what are you guys doing? I think by this this point, Cole's like, okay, they're talking to somebody. Screw dealing with like the acid. He's gonna he's gonna try to hop in to kind of try to avoid hop, even hop, avoid hop, the hop. acid just to get to like right here. Okay, okay. Well, right the there is you're lava. Uh, you're the floor not... is lava. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at that pace, as long I, I mean, as you're I know that yeah. like it's I'm in it like it seems, but he's like kind of standing yes, yes. on the outside of the edge. At that edge, you are completely fine. You're just like hop, scup, okay. out of the way for sure. Okay. And um. Again, uh, uh, for this like uh, repetition, uh, Carabao, you hear the acid rain again, and you're noticing why it's not doing any its thunder or fire ab abilities. So, Cole, you moved inside. Carabao, what are you doing? Can uh, Cole see the Duke? 
uh, as long as you can, you have, vi- yeah, you barely have visual range. It's a large creature. Mm-hmm. Care about what uh, first what I'm, I'm gonna look. What is the engine doing? The engine, it's uh, every couple of seconds, it's spitting acid, dissolving the rock underneath, and trying its best to move out. I rolled uh, how many chances I can try, like how many rounds, um, and every couple of rounds I will. I did roll pretty high, so that's in your, y'all's favor. Every couple of rounds, it's going to try to climb out after it keeps moving and breaking the stone underneath it to uh, uh, widen the gap so it can climb out. Okay. Uh, if only this was Rognar. Rognar has a spell called Fabricate, so he can keep fixing the rocks. That would have been actually really nice. <laughs> Mending. <What>? Mending. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Fabricate. It's actually like a yeah, building goes something like. You know, like full metal alchemist, like you build like a bridge on top of it. I, I imagine it's like you just kind of like hit the action key, like Minecraft, and you just make a block of rock appear. <laughs> that would have been uh, Oreo's transmutation uh, stone. Just build a yeah. little tomb around it. Uh, uh, Jesus, uh, mm-hmm. you said this is a cauldron right here, right? Yes, this one is burning uh, at twice the energy of the other one. The the acid seems to be okay. having a, a reaction to fire. Is Cole able to go around the cauldron to get, like, say, right here, so he can see? Yeah, you can get there. Yeah. Uh, so, if that, I'm just gonna go in and kind of go to this corner. And... Eh. Eh, I, guess I will so. say by this Oopsie. point, Jesus Cole will drop the anti magic field. Okay. Anti magic field will be dropped. I'll just be here and waiting. Okay. Uh, can I roll hide just to hide there? Sure. You can roll me hide. Be locked and loaded. Yeah, just in case, I have, I have a bow knock. What other thing? Arrow knock, not the bow. (laughs) Yes, cool. That's next level. If I'm knocking a bow. I'm gonna cast heal on myself. Okay. Um, hide, hide is twenty nine. Twenty nine. Okay. You have, you have subgenius intelligence. Let me see. All right. That's a that's a that's a pass of thirty. Um, <laughs> what did you roll on your hide? Sorry, twenty nine. Twenty nine. Okay, you're pretty sure no one has noticed you, even for a second. Cole kind of did a double take, like, oh yeah, he's there. Yeah, I did. A, I rolled a fourteen. Okay, uh, you healed yourself. Uh, <laughs> and Wes, as it's looking yeah. at you. It looks at uh, Cole, and Cole, as you're healing yourself, you don't catch this because you're looking down at yourself the second that this happened, but Kara and Wes, you see that the uh, fiend in front of you flickered Ah. for a second. Uh, Kara, as you're looking up, or your eyes are since you don't need to. Your eyes mm-hmm. are just looking above. It is staring and giving Colum this mean mug look. It's just And then the entity below. Two of you. Oh, he must be desperate. Yeah. With Cole hearing that, he's gonna put up a finger after he hears like it. Because he's focusing on healing himself. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's a favor for me. <sighs> All the time that I've been in hell, the numerous times I fought in heaven, two avatars in front of me. This is. How can I not rip you apart? Cole, when Cole hears that, he—I mean—he's holding Mark Anthony. I'm, yeah. I would say during this entire time, Mark Anthony's been kind of shoved under him. It's like, look, I'm just here to speak with Zariel. That's all. Is that all you wanted? Just to speak to her? You should have said so. You said, I would have rolled the carpet of bones. Did you need to drink as well? Would you, you like have to a carpet eat? of bones? Yes, it's quite lovely. 
You see, there's a specific sap that you can make when you torture, let's say, little ones. After you burn them a certain amount, and that wax turns into a rubber that you can yeah. place with the bones, and it's a beautiful carpet. I, I thought it was going to be just one chosen individual, but now there's two. How can I not kill you? Goodness. How tall is he, Jesus? Uh, ten feet. Okay. Very large. He's only three feet taller than Gary. Uh, and if you go and make... I mean, granted, I know we've already made a scene. Cole's really... <laughs> He's gonna try bluffing this. And if you attack and kill me, how do you think... Um, a certain someone in Nessus is going to react. Here's the thing. From everything that cunning, and I say that with grace, individual has. If you die, that means you were expendable and they wanted you to die. Do you think anything comes free? from him you think that you're not just a pawn in its game Cole's just pulling his lip down it's like you think I don't know that so you're stupid then <laughs> I have been in hell for more than a millennia and you chose this pact my, my, this day's incredible. You know, with all the, pe the with all the things that Cole has dealt with and stuff, he's actually getting angry. And, you know, everybody will probably hear him just say this. It's like, I just wanted to make my father proud. <laughs> Disappointed, I'm sure. Wes, in the back of your head, you are hearing who's being grinded as you're like no 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 you're not you know what will happen if you come out and then they split headache and then everything's fine Ow. <laughs> something something got knocked around like ah, I guess I didn't need that memory what's blue <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this guy actually managed to really rile Cole up. <laughs> I will say, before you mortals get angsty, and I've seen how much devastation and chaos you do, I'm actually surprised, and I would applaud the tenacity of the mortals. You think the blood wars are a thing? <laughs> wars up there, those are entertaining. But there is one of me and four of you. So let me, and he twists his hand, change that. And you see the, the angels start moving and the decapitated angel below you, uh, Wes, start, starts moving as he is gonna animate dead. Nice. So. I was gonna have Cole do a thing. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I mean, you've you've got this far. You've you've gotten this far. I mean, he's mad. We're gonna do stupid things when we're mad. Cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Hold, I mean, holding Mark Anthony and yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, again, it's just him basically having called, saying, oh, you're stupid. That hit her, that hit a little bit too close for Cole. Um, he's gonna cast Guiding Bolt at 5th level. Please roll in a hit. Um, these angels are all animated. Yeah, they're just corpses now. They're up, but they're not, they're not um, moving. 
This is bad. At what level did you cast uh, your guiding bolt? Huh? At what level did you cast guiding oh, bolt? Oh. Five, I think. Five? Okay. You know what? Yeah, five, but eh. She said. She said. Fuck it, six. Alright, no problem. If that's okay. Yeah, yeah, um, that's fine. But I got a natural 20. Awesome. As you grab your uh, Mark Anthony and this beam of pure light goes right above Wes's head, goes right through them. And then Why? as the beam is going right through him, right through its chest, and the energy just dissipates. And I'll say that you, I mean, you hit a hole hard enough to break down this wall, and you see a desk very ornate and organized under behind with a couple of boxes and papers. And as it looks after no hole, no damage, nothing, not even uh, its uh, plate being uh, scratched or scuffed at all. Like I said, the tenacity. And then the illusion goes away. Nice. nice. Uh, because the illusion was broken, you'll see him 10 feet up in the air. I believe looking at you west and looking at uh cole last time i scuffled with either one of you bowing was in order as they bow with all the confidence close their eyes hey then you guys are doing karen's gonna jump and hit him in the head all right roll me to hit <laughs> <laughs> Care said, I'm done talking. <laughs> uh, 19, 19. For the first hit. 19 misses. Goodness. 25 for the third hit. 35 definitely hits. So he takes eight damage to the to the skull. Okay. Um. And what type of it's bludgeoning damage? Oh, you're magical. So, okay. Okay. Never mind. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. He said, "Ding dong." <laughs> Ding dong. The fight is on. Sorry. 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 Um, How much damage did you said? Eight. Okay. As you jump up, poof, hit him in the head. You're fast. I need everyone to roll me initiative. Hey, oh god. Oh, okay. I Let's actually say. rolled the same number. Uh, nice. We're going to, because of time, we'll do one round and then we'll. Uh... So TPK one round. Got it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna attempt again. Oh, that's funny. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, I don't have to re-roll my... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I mean, he still got a hell of a roll. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. As it's unsheathing its long sword, Karabao, what are we doing? Um... Uh, Cole is, in a way, I can see that he's surrounded with uh, with the undead. So I guess I'll just try to clear up the little minions. Okay, okay. So I'm just going to attack this guy. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep doing my sharpshooter. Sure, please roll. It's a 15. Bad roll. Jesus, is this one technically in a cage still? It is technically, yeah. This this cage has not been opened. That is correct. That's okay. a very good thing to know. Uh, I do ignore covers. Uh, half cover. Yeah, yeah half that's cover. it. Yeah. A 15? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Uh, I don't think this is a sneak attack, though. No. Because nobody's within five feet. Oh, wait. Uh, alert? What, what does... No, no. Alert doesn't give me anything. Other than the... Yeah, unless you were an assassin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not an assassin, so... I will just not do my... My extra 4d6, but I do have a thunder cannon, so... <laughs> I have some 46. <laughs> that's no, that's not a good roll. Well, that's four fives, so I guess that's good. Which Plus sharpshooter. You're shooting the one in the cage? Yeah, this okay. one. Plus sharpshooter. I mean, it's still pretty hefty damage. 42. 42. Uh, I need to move it. It's a little too close to the wall. Sorry. To the wall? Yeah, I can't quite hit the marker. Oh. Um, uh, as, uh, what square were you in? Whatever. Um, as you shoot it, and it hits it straight in the chest and just breaks bones, and you see that it starts, just falls to the ground. It's a good hit. Anything else? Uh, I'm just gonna, I guess, it's, I'm just gonna stand, stand my ground here, hide again. Okay. <laughs> just a duck behind the, the like the little bench that was there. So it's benches down here. Okay. No <laughs> so problem. Just... Uh, e. All right. So the skeleton, those uh, yeah. uh, angels are gonna go first. Sorry. That'll be thirty-one. Thirty-one to stealth. All right. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I'm not even fucking rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, it it could see. Let's see. Yeah, because of his perception. <laughs> Not with the two. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Cole, you do not get hit with criticals, right? It does not uh, confirm? No. Nope. Okay, cool. Uh, does a dirty 20 hit West? Um, yeah. Okay, you both take six, yeah, six points of radiant energy as okay. both the angels <laughs> grab onto your leg. Uh, this one releases a bolt that shoots and hits you. It would have been a crit, uh, but you are resistant with your armor. And yep. the other one just grabs onto your leg as it's standing up and just releases the energy in front. Okay. Cool, I'm bloody. Okay. Uh, that's the spell that I wanted. Care. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. I, I would have chosen Care, but uh, I can't see him. No, it's fine. <laughs> Can you make I, I, me? <laughs> so sorry. A wisdom saving throw. Oh no. Sure. Uh, oh wait, no, buddy. Is this an attack roll though? No, it is not an attack roll. Okay. So you said wisdom saving throw. Yes. Um, no. Okay. It's a nine. Oh, yikes. Oh. You hear in your head. Kill the barbarian. Shit. Oh, no, not nice! A, not again. Here we go. <laughs> Suggestion has been casted. Here we go. Uh, here we go again with this. Suggested party member. Care. <laughs> that shit. What do we yeah. do? Well, I just got told I have to kill the barbarian. Do Who's I know a barbarian? Who's a barbarian? Who's a barbarian? Yes, you you know that it, their intention meant west. <laughs> who's a, who who's who's that? Who's that? I don't know who that who's is. That? I, don't, I don't know. Him. <laughs> I don't have their phone number. Care's just gonna look at West and kind of like cock his head to the side. You do see a tear roll from Kara's face. And then take three oh, hits yeah. on what? Oh boy, let's go. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, 28. Yeah. 23. Yeah. And 22. Please okay. stop. <laughs> stop rolling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all three of those. This is the moment you, that you need to stop rolling, hot. <laughs> like, I need you to stop right now. Like, you should be rolling that once. So that's 36 points of damage total. Oh, no. 
36? Okay. Just out of curiosity, did you still have that advantage? <laughs> oh shit, I do! Roll <laughs> with advantage? Let's see if you, uh, let's see if that, uh, retroactively applies. 19! Uh, let me double check. I'm sorry, no. no. Oh my god! 36 damage I took. Nice. What was the fucking DC for that one? The High, higher high? than higher 45. Than 20. <laughs> right. 100 million. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. As Wes, as you see your friend just turn you and just start wailing their hammer pff, pff, on you. Hit after hit after hit. All right. Care thing that'll be that'll do. That'll do. Uh, Cole, what are we doing? I think it was West. I think it's West first. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I did not move the mini. Uh, thank you, West. Okay. What are we doing? Um. Well, that just happened. Damn. Sorry. So we're gonna get a little fucking pissed about that. Oh. Just a little. Just a little pissed. Oh, not not full. Teeny, teeny, tiny little bit of. We're gonna rage. All right. <laughs> He's gonna get fucking clocked by care, and I'm just gonna assume that two plus two equals this bitch just possessed my friend. <laughs> As you all see these horns uh, appear now that you're in the palace to kind of break your skin. As oh, you... it's, not... Hmm? it's not like ethereal, like no, they're real the... horns now. This one is going now. This, I think this is the first time Kyle was seeing it real horns. Yeah. As uh before it was ethereal like horns. As uh you do see the Duke as they smile. Oh this let's see if the reputation stands. Wes, what are we doing? Uh and he's like ten feet up, right? Uh yes. I don't I don't think I have the reach. Now I got a five foot reach, mother. Well, he wait. He's 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 large size, so you can jump ten. You, if you jump, you will I'm get one fucking attack. Fucking jump! I'm gonna jump right at that bitch. All right, and just just, just yell very angrily, think, just like. Think about those words. If you jump, you can make one attack. Think about those words. You have multi attack. What are we doing, West? I mean, if that's the only way I can hit him. Oh, sure, yeah. Jump, easy enough. Roll me the hit. You're a fucking bitch. Uh, 19 to hit. That's, that's, uh, that's... Okay. <laughs> I will, uh, I will try to assist. You guys do have your advantage. That will go away the end of this round. There is we're... also a question in chat. Good. I just uh, rolled for now. Yes. Uh, so no, only one advantage. That's my rule, but other DMs on this channel can do whatever they want. And my rule is just one advantage per game. That's what I'm trying to make sure they anyway, So I use my advantage, yeah. and uh, it's now a 29 to hit. A 29 a hit. Oh, good. Good, because he's going to run up at that bitch. Take a jump and just be like, it's not fucking nice to call people names, you bitch. <laughs> Love it. All right. It's also possess people without asking them. It's fucking rude. Uh, 11 points of damage. And I'm just going to assume fire is just not a thing. They are immune to fire. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That is 11. That's 15 total of my stuff 15 okay hold on let me double check that. as you grab right. onto its foot say that use that extra energy to like let, uh move yourself up grab your mall spin <laughs> hit him right in the head before you land back down excuse me 16 i forgot i have a plus three now on my damage for rage okay Doki. hey oh 
All right, anything else? That's, that's about it. Okay. Uh, Cause I Cole. used my bonus action to get mad. What do we do? Cole's standing there, like, still holding Mark Anthony, pretty much oh, charging wait. up another... Uh, I need to roll concentration. Uh-uh. I hit you hard. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Passes by one. Bitch. Sorry. Cole, what do we do? Come on, Karen, think harder. <laughs> we'll think, only hit. Yeah. <laughs> Cole's starting to get a little bit more emotional because it's like seeing care, uh, seeing West at, uh, care attack West. This is very, very, very familiar to the whole bullshit that happened with the hags. And he's literally looking at this Duke just going, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, just go away! And he's just going to roll another level six cutting bolt. All right, roll Not me to hit. 20. Woo, roll me to confirm. Jesus, if you need to invoke <gasps> his name. Did you get another nat? Jesus Christ! Yes! <laughs> so if, you need oh to, if you need to invoke his name, it's his name's Teddy. If I fuck oh, this up, do I use my advantage to re-roll it again, or no? Yes. 18! Fuck, come on! Come on! Nah, you have to take Ah, uh, no! Okay. Only two. Only twice. So, here's what we're going to uh, do. Ooh. You're going to roll me percentiles. Okay. I hit the mic, sorry. God, slapping it around. Likes it. 98. That's a big number. Okay. Mm -hmm. 98. All right, cool. That's uh, lovely. So, you crit. You are going to double your dice. You confirm the crits. We are going to maximize the dice damage. And another additional effect because of the crit. So, what is your dice maximized? How many dice is that? That's a lot of dice. I, I have to get all Shoot. good old How many many six, So, maximize, like the full maximum damage can do? 120. Yeah. It's just fucking nuked them. So 120 times 2. No, the 120 would be the times 2. The dice are doubled. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought the 20d6 was just what you got for that freaking spell. I was like, what the fuck? Fucking Evangelion Railgun. God damn, Cole. <laughs> so he just. I don't, I don't right know <laughs> if. Uh, how do you want to do this? Jesus! Can I take a little bit of a liberty? Yeah, it has no it has no protection against radiant. So Cole's like literally getting emotional. Again, all this shit's going on and it's so fucking reminiscent to like how horrible the shit was going down with the hags. He has tears streaming down his face. It's like, I just want to have my family, goddammit! And I'm assuming, like, maybe, like, from, like, the light from the Radiant, maybe there's, like, this shadow that's being cast that makes it look like Asmodeus is standing right behind him. Sure. And that being the last thing that this fucking Duke sees for a while. So, how this is going to play out. Care. From your perspective, all you know is that you swung your hammer at Wes and you blanked out before you made an impact. And now there's a door that's broken and a metal cube in front of you. You not see that demon anywhere, that de devil anywhere. Carabao, from your perspective, a beam of pure crimson energy shot and you heard a scream that you don't want to remember and unfortunately it will haunt you and it will be in your nightmares and you cannot escape that scream. Crimson? Crimson. West. From your perspective. 
your head bows. And you you do hear some muffled argument in the back about, I'm not doing that to that nerd, something silly, but you feel that there is a panic in that voice. As you see this bow its head, and then so do you, as the walls turn red. Cole, it's almost like you did what you're doing and then afterwards you recognize what happened and everything came to sense. You're like, oh my god, did I just do that? As the beam left and you just saw Crimson Beam hit uh, the the Duke as it just disintegrated. And then you realized and Karabai, you saw everything. As a tall figure with four curved horns appeared behind Cole as it was extending its arm almost in the same mimicry as Cole's hand was on Mark Anthony expelling this spell. And you all here, except for those that unfortunately were brain uh, mind controlled. <coughs> Do not forget whose house hell is. I think your reincarnation has severed. And you see this duke turn to ash in front of you. The wall behind you completely explode and everything in that room completely singed and destroyed except for a gold cube <laughs> falls right in front of your feet west and it's not out of fear but a smidget of respect before you notice that this stands up straight and you feel that you can also do the same. And there's a gold cube similar to the one that Oleg had that falls on your feet. And then everything goes back to the normal flames. Cole, you just aren't understanding what happened. And Wes, you just hear in the back of your head, I hate it when he does that. Mate, I put my keys inside that. Solve the puzzle. <laughs> Open my door. And that is where we're going to in tonight's game. Oh shit, I suck at puzzles. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, hope it's easy. <laughs> it's not. Um, okay. <laughs> It's fine. Carabao's here. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Throw it at him. <laughs> so. <laughs> amazing game. Fuck. Christ. Yikes. There's a lot you that. Hold on to this, sir. <laughs> There's a lot that was kind of uh, said in the encounter with the Duke. I do want to emphasize on the fact that he said there is two avatars here. And it's arrogance and cockiness led them to their fucking downfall within 12 seconds. So, we'll come back next time. Two weeks. See where adventures lead us. To point that I believe that deserves a level up. Yay! And yeah, we'll see what else hell has to offer 
uh, <laughs> in two weeks. Uh, next week, we're going to be playing Ooh. Rides of Tiamat, which I'm fucking excited for. Yay! Oh. Ooh, oh, ancient got white some dragons. Fun, got I'm... some fun dungeon stuff planned. <sighs> I'm scared. I have a feeling whatever... Yeah, you know what? It makes sense now why Cole is in the predicament he is in the next game. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, please be kind to one another. Please okay. don't forget to love each other. Uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Have a good night, y'all. Adios. Bye. Bye. Bye.